You guys would not believe what I found out after my last video. <laughs> this blew my mind. Uh, I'm not much for like some different research in the analytics of your like YouTube channels and all that stuff. But in my last video, which I'll link at the end of this video, uh, I had talked about that uh, um, there were elders and things like that that watched some of my carnivore videos. Guys, it has been overwhelming of elders that have said, hey, I'm 60 years old. I'm 65 years old. I'm 70 years, years old. I'm a carnivore. I never would have thought it that that many of my subscribers are people that I would consider elders and it touches my heart. It really touches my heart guys that you elders choose to watch my journey because like, who am I? I'm just a 30 year old guy that struggles like, and I can't believe that y'all actually get enjoyment out of watching my struggles and watching me overcome things and share my real story with everyone. I'm, I could not believe it that I don't even think I've heard but one person say that they were close to my age. One person said that they were 31 years old and I'm, <coughs> I'm 30 years old. It's just absolutely crazy how many people that are 60 years old, 65, that are on their carnivore journey. If you watch my videos and you're younger, let's say you're 40 and below and you haven't commented yet, let me know because I haven't seen but like one person say they were 31 or 30 and another one maybe 32. I haven't seen any comments yet from anybody in their 20s. What this tells me, people start, as they start maturing and getting farther along in life, they start, that's whenever people's body starts breaking down from all the sugar and all the carbs that we've ate for so long. And that's whenever people start realizing, oh my goodness, I need to do something different because we've all been lied to for our whole lives. But when you're 20 years old, a lot of times you don't want to heed to the advice and make changes and you don't want to do something this, what you would, some would call bizarre and to just eat meat. I mean, before I, before I did it, I thought it sounded crazy. And so, um, it's just amazing that I, at 29 years old, it just shows me how desperate I was for change because I was at a place, it was such a dark place at nearly 500 pounds and being, not being able to function like I would, I wouldn't get to go on certain trips. My shoulder constantly hurt. I was a type two diabetic, all these different things that bothered me every day and having a hard time getting my clothes on or pull, oh, like putting my socks and shoes on. That stuff was hard. I, I hated, absolutely hated clipping my toenails because it was, it was almost unbearable clipping my toenails. And that just, maybe that's what pushed me over the edge to be only 30, 29 years old and give carnivore a try because I was desperate. I was so desperate. And I'm not saying that all of y'all that are 55, 60, 65, 70, 75, someone, I read a comment today, someone said they were 78. By the way, if anyone is over 78, you let me know as well, because I really would like to know that. But, um, you know, it's just crazy that after all that I put myself through, that I found this way of life. And I hope that that I'm not the only person that is, let's say under 35 years old that, that tries this. I want to see more people get into this at a younger age. I don't want this to be just our elders because yes, our elders, they're going to be living proof by doing it. But like a lot of the stuff that they struggled with, a lot of our elders would tell you that it's preventable. If they had, let's say you're an elder and you're watching this video right now, you would probably, if you started carnivore in the last five to 10 years or the last couple years 
and you've had amazing benefits and you can put those benefits in the comments if you'd like. Think, think real hard about what life could have been like or would have been like if you had started doing this 20 years ago or 30 years ago. Thankfully, I'm in a place that I have that opportunity and I never want to take it for granted. I never want to take it for granted that I found out about carnivore at 29 years old and it isn't it's incredible. It's absolutely amazing. Now, I'll be as honest as honest can be with y'all. I have struggled on this journey. And it's not because of carnivore not working. I've had people tell me in the comments, "See, carnivore's not a good diet. It won't work for it won't work for you long term. That's the reason you're struggling." No, I'm struggling because of me. I'm struggling because I have things from my past that get in the way. Like, I was watching Carnivorous Me's video that she just released today. And she was speaking right to me when she was talking about letting go of guilt. Because sometimes when we cheat or when we slip up and we fall off plan, we feel so guilty and we feel so down and we beat ourselves up so much the, it, she called it the guilt monster. The guilt monster just keeps coming at you and tearing you down and tearing you down. And I was like, that's me. You're explaining me because that's what I do. I torment myself. And, you know, the last thing that I want to do whenever I slip up because I'm not perfect. And the last thing that I want to do is tear myself down. I've had a hard time getting back on track multiple times. I am not as far along in my carnivore journey as I would like to be. I haven't lost as much weight as I would have liked to, but I can't give up because of it. I can't let the guilt and let the shame and let the whatever, because I know that I say that I'm not doing this for, for y'all and I'm not doing that for any I'm doing this for me and for my family and for my health and, and my future but at the same time there's so many of y'all that look up to me and I'm forever grateful for that and the last thing I want to do is be a bad example for y'all but it does worry me at times whenever I slip up because I don't, it's hard to turn a camera on and tell people about your flaws and tell people about your struggles and, hey man, I slipped up and, you know, I've just been kicking myself and I'm down. Because honestly, since Thanksgiving, after I got sick, I wasn't eating good and I'm having a hard time right now finding my motivation. I'm having a hard time right now, and I know it's because December's right here, and it's like, oh, the the holidays and all this other stuff, and there's people that come on here in the comments, and they say, just do it, just do it, just, just you know, but some of those people that say that, have you ever struggled like I have? Have you ever been 500 pounds? Have you ever uh, been severely, severely addicted to sugar and carbs? Have you seriously been addicted like big time where every time something went wrong in your life, you jumped to food? Every time you got in an argument with someone, you ate your pain away? Every time that you quit a drug or quit alcohol, you ran to different food? Food was my safety net for so long. And I'm having to learn new habits and I'm having to learn new ways to, you know, you know, be happy and be at peace in life when things go when things don't go the way that I want. One thing that I I do like doing when I'm stressed out or something is go for a walk, or just listen to my radio or something like that, or turn a TV on and watch a movie or something other than, hey, let's stuff my face with cake. But there are times that I do slip in, and I'm sorry for those of y'all that um. If I ever do slip up, 
that's just more than y'all can take because I'm doing what I can do, okay? And yes, theoretically, I could do even better. It's, it's humanly possible to do better, but I'm, I'm fighting with what I have. I'm fighting with the strength that I have, and sometimes I'm weak. Sometimes I'm weak, and it's hard to admit that with a camera turned on, but that's reality. But you know what I'm not doing? I'm not giving up. I'm not giving up, and I know I know that by the end of 2024, you're not going to believe the person that you see on the other end of the camera when you watch one of my videos. I absolutely know. Because this year was like a preview of what the future holds for me. I didn't know there was a future before, before Carnivore. I thought I was just going to live for God, and, and I still live for God, but I thought I was just going to live for God and keep struggling with my health and eventually die because of a heart attack or something like that because of my weight at almost 500 pounds and it would have kept going up, up, up. And I thought that I was getting closer to the end of my rope and I was only 29 years old. I was desperate. But what's crazy is now... It's like I just seen a glimpse of what life can be. And buddy, it just it blows my mind. I'm pretty sure that by the end of 2024, I'm going to not walk a 5K. I'm pretty sure I'm going to run a whole 5K start to finish next year. For those of y'all that want to continue watching my journey, I'm forever grateful. I appreciate the ones of y'all that have been here with me since I started. I love y'all. Y'all are like another family to me. Even though I've never met 90% of y'all, I feel like y'all are family. And I cannot wait to especially those of y'all that have been commenting in my videos for so long. I can't wait to, when I run that 5K from start to finish, and I get to turn my camera on and say, guys, I did it. Because I'm going to say that. <laughs> it's going to be amazing. I'm excited just thinking about it, and I can't wait to share that with y'all. So look, I love y'all, and for those of y'all that you know, heard me out in my last video whenever I mentioned my Amazon wish list. It's so uncomfortable doing that. But for those of y'all that did donate to help with camera gear, like people bought like things that will help me hook my camera up to be like faster to like hook it up and then unhook it and things like that when I'm on the go. Anything like that. Thank you so much. I love y'all. Thank y'all, thank y'all, thank y'all. All I know to do is say thank you. What else can I do? What else can I do besides say thank you? Because I truly mean that. If I could hug all, all thousands of y'all, I would hug every one of y'all right now. Because I never... I'm just a guy from South Alabama. I'm just a guy from... A little old small town. I live in Atmore, Alabama. Don't show up at my house because I'm packing. But I live in Atmore, Alabama. And I'm just a small town boy. And I didn't think when I turned on my camera that or my phone and I looked awful in that first video. I didn't think that this many people would care about my journey and care about seeing where it all goes. It's not over. It's definitely not over. My favorite football team is the University of Alabama. I'm a diehard Alabama fan. And one of the things that I love most about uh, their coach, Nick Saban, after they won their first national championship with Nick Saban as their coach, and everybody was all excited and they were saying, 
oh, that's great, you done great, or whatever. He said, um, this isn't the end. This is just the beginning. And I know we're getting close to the end of 2023, but, and I said 2023 was my year. But hey, that don't mean that 2024 ain't either. 2024 is going to be my year too. And I'm going to challenge myself because I think I can lose as much weight or more weight in 2024 than I did in 2023. I really think I can do that. And um, because I can be stricter than I have been. I can do better than I have done. I, ha I don't have all the answers right now, but I'm working on it. Thank y'all for sticking with me. Thank y'all for showing love to me and my family. Uh, I love y'all. My wife loves y'all. Miss, Miss Carnivore Kip, my, my beautiful wife, Mackenzie, and my awesome little girl, Miss Abigail. We love y'all so much. Thank you guys for all y'all have done for my family. I can't wait to talk to y'all soon. God bless.